when this church came back to life, we realized that uh, our greatest asset was our property. Uh, this church once had 1,100 members, and so uh, when we started out with just a few dozen, we realized that we had God's space to give away. We didn't have a lot of money, uh, but we uh, had a great amount of space to share in ministry, and so early on, the elders of the church decided that it would not rent out property. We didn't want to be in the rental business, but we would look for mission partners to occupy our empty spaces until if and when we grow into it. And so that led to a range of campus partnerships. An African-American church, Sister Presbyterian Church, uh, has been worshiping in our uh, auditorium building. Uh, we have had for the last three years a homeless shelter, uh, sleeping 50 women every night. Uh, we also have a deep partnership with a bilingual preschool. So as uh, Charlotte has grown to have uh, what is estimated to be 150,000 Latinas. Uh, we have found uh, a partnership with a 12-year-old school that uh, takes uh, Spanish-speaking children from at-risk situations and teaches them English as well as the preschool lessons so that when they go to public kindergarten, they're prepared and they won't fall behind. This church also has a very strong heart for justice. And so uh, we um, speak up for our LGBT brothers and sisters whom we believe God created equal to all of us. We uh, care about racial uh, justice. Uh, we care about economic justice. Uh, we harbor uh, profound concern about the growing inequality in America and believe that is not God's vision. And so there's more than enough to do. Uh, Charlotte is a busy city, and uh, we have the opportunity to partner with lots of different nonprofit agencies and other churches um, to try and, uh, as we say, be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ.